Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy I'm Muhammad Shahid and today we will discuss a topic named is addition of few strokes make the difference So I will discuss four different Chinese characters in this lecture and those four characters are similar attributes similar to each other just a little bit difference and that is in terms of uh, the strokes so I'll be adding few strokes and it will become a different character so this way we will not only learn the pronunciation and we will not only learn uh, an easy way to remember these Chinese characters uh, which is a big problem for the beginners when they start learning Chinese language so let's just get started uh, with our today's lecture the first character which I'm going to deal with is Mu Mu this stands for mother alone but generally when they speak about calling the name of mother they combine it with another character and this is qin qin mu qin mu qin uh qin means parent okay so it's like mother parent but combine when we combine these two it means Mu Chin Mu Chin in Urdu it means Ma Mu Chin Mother okay so I will discuss another Chinese character but you have to keep this character in mind I'm just gonna add a uh, few strokes two strokes and it will have a different character just these two Pie and hung, pie and hung. So now you can see that I will just keep the other stroke, the character, the same. And this becomes may, may, may means every in Urdu it means har we combine it with uh, another character mei tian mei tian mei tian May Tian every day every day so you saw that by the addition of this Pie and Hung we found a new character and adding with Tian Tian means sky sky okay and uh, uh, it also means uh, day okay so every day so let's just make a Chinese sentence with these words but before that let's discuss the other two words also so we are going to discuss those two words now one word is Zao, 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 zao means early, savere. I'm just gonna add a radical of grass over it and it becomes zao, zao, zao means grass and it means in Urdu, gas. Okay, you got that? 
So let's just make sentences with these words. I just added this about the character of Zhao and it became like this. Now let's make sentences and get to know about the uses of these uh, Chinese characters, okay? So, example sentence number one. Sentence number one could be uh, Mu Chin Mei Tian Hung Mu Chin Mei Tian Hun if we pronounce it individually, but in a sentence it will be different, okay? By following certain rules. Khen. Zhao. Chi Chuang Mu Chin Mei Tian Hun Zhao Chi Chuang Mu Chin Mei Tian Hun Zhao Chi Chuang Mu Chin Mei Tian Hun Zhao Chi Chuang Mother gets up early every day Ma her rose Saveri Ya Suba Saveri Urti He Muchin Mei Tian Han Zhao Chi Chuang Muchin Mei Tian Han Zhao Chi Chuang Muchin Mei Tian Han Zhao Chi Chuang Okay Now let's get uh, Muchin is mother Okay. Mei Tian, as we know, every day. Okay. Han as an adverb of degree means very. Zhao, we study, means early. Qi Chuang, Qi Chuang, Qi Chuang means getting out of bed or wake up getting out of bed or get up okay so that's all about this sentence mu qin mei tian han zao qi chuang mu qin mei tian han zao qi chuang now let's discuss another sentence with the sentence number two Dong Dong Wu Dong Wu Zai Dong Wu Zai Chao Di Chao Di Chi Chao Chi Chao Dong Wu Zai Chao Di Chi Chao Dong Wu Zai Chao Di Chi Chao means animal animals eat grass 
in the grass land janwar charaga me gas char rahe hai dongwu means animal zai preposition means at chao di chao di means meadow grassland chi to eat chao grass animal at grassland eat grass animals eat grass in the grassland so this was all about the characters uh the characters mu and may and zao and chao so we made sentences on these and we learned the connection of these characters with each other so this is all for today i hope that you will like today's lecture and uh, we will meet each other in next interesting lecture regarding chinese language till then see you zai jian